Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the next video on Google Maps. In this video, we will continue the discussion from where we had ended in the previous video. In the previous video, we basically wrote simple code which was auto generated, which created this activity called as maps activity. And when we ran that particular application, this is the location that it was showing on our device. And if you kept wondering why is it showing Sydney city, the reason was it was hard coded in the code. That's perfectly fine. We will improve upon this but the main question here is where is this google map getting initialized well we have this method called as on map ready which takes a google map as an argument so we get a google map as a callback argument in this particular method called as on map ready and where we are initializing that google map to a instance variable m map which is of type google map but still the question persists that where does this on map ready method belong well you you would not be very far off if you guess that it might be from some interface that map activity implements well you are right if you go to line number 14 our maps activity implements on map ready callback so on map ready method actually belongs to this on map ready callback interface which our maps activity is implementing the next obvious question is how are we setting this particular callback in our activity well if you go to line number 25 we have invoked a get map async method and have passed this which is the activity that implements on map ready callback as the argument. So this leads to a next question to what object are we setting this callback? Well, the object that we are using here is support map fragment. Support map fragment is a specialized map fragment that Google provides, which basically makes working with maps a little bit easy. So that is why it is actually recommended that you use support map fragment when you want to basically show a map in your application. If you go to the documentation, it says that support fragment is a map component in an app and this fragment is the simplest way to place a map in an application. And if you go down further, it says that a google map must be acquired using get async map on map ready callback method this class automatically initializes the maps system in the view and that's exactly what we have done so now having understood the next obvious question is okay it's fine that i understand the all components that are used here but the code that we have seen so far is still showing some hard-coded value how do i update it so that it shows my current location to to do that let's get into a demo well this is the maps activity that got created when we went through a wizard in the previous video and this is the hard-coded value that we are getting but if you remember we also have another activity called as main activity this is where we had basically written the code to get the location using fused location provider client location request location callback so we already know how to get the location on the device it is just a matter of merging the code that we have written here in the main activity with maps activity which is actually showing it in a user friendly manner on a google map so what we will do is we will basically take the code that we have written in the main activity and transfer it to maps activity so that instead of showing some hard coded location we will show uh, some useful location well to do that let me split the screen vertically so we would need all of this let me copy paste here and then then we will have to initialize the fuse location provider client all those things so let me put it here and let me create another tag here and we need start getting location stop location request so we will copy paste those and here instead of using main activity i will have to use maps activity we will have to also write on request permission result so let's close this i think we are more or less done and this text view is no more valid so let's remove this so let me just go through what i have done i basically got the fuse location and then i initialized the fuse location provider client and i have set the callback methods and then i am invoking the start getting location here on the on permission result so once we know the location we need to initialize the google maps that is support map fragment so whatever the earlier code that we had here this part we can cut this and paste it here and let's make this maps 
activity because that is what is implementing the on map ready callback and here in the on map ready we should remove this let's call it as lat long current place is equal to new lat long and from the current location that we have initialized it here can get current get latitude and then current location dot get longitude and then we have to replace sydney with current place and i think we are done with this so let's run the code as you can see here it is not at showing the marker i think the main reason is this method is not getting called this is getting called only on request permission result but this method doesn't get called when you already have the permission so if you already have the permission you need to basically call it in the on create so start getting the location so this should fix it so let me rerun this so as you can see here now it is giving me current location where i am currently sitting which makes more sense but still i I need it to automatically zoom in to a particular level so that it still makes sense that what I am looking at. So it needs to zoom in. That is not happening. Well, that is pretty easy to do. What we have to do is go to the on map ready callback and here after adding the marker, we need to do few more things. Set the zoom level and also move map to the location where pin has dropped. So what we can do is after adding the marker, there is a M map animate camera can create a new camera factory which takes an argument of camera update and we can get a camera update from the camera update factory so i can write camera update factory dot the first argument is the lat long which is current place and you have to provide a float value which basically decides what should be the zoom in factor so i can give 15.0 f and that should basically navigate the camera or animate the camera to the dropped position with a particular zoom value so let's rerun this and as you can see here now it makes more sense so whatever that i have shown you guys i have done it using the fragment but what if you don't want to use the support map fragment what if you want to use just a view which can still show the map well for that you can use something called as map view for example if you go down somewhere here you have this thing called as map view you can use even map view to do exactly the same so in the next video i will be showing you instead of using the support map fragment if you wanted to use the map view how you would do it so stay tuned for the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye